had to tell you, didn't I? Didn't I? <laughs> All right, Oval fans, quick video here because uh, just a handful of people I've seen mention this in the comment section of the uh, video I did just going over, you know, what was Lily thinking and also in the finale review itself. I still stand by what I say. The finale wasn't perfect, but it was definitely one of the best episodes of the season. What did I give it, like a 9 or an 8 out of 10? I know that seems ridiculously high but at the same time i feel like that the season was so bad that when an episode even is average it seems like a 10 out of 10 to me but some people have been theorizing that lily could be dreaming about the events that happened towards the cliffhanger ending of the episode where she you know uh quote unquote snuck into donald's house and you know raided the safe and then Donald walked in and, you know, she held him at gunpoint to get his car keys before she got shot in, I believe, like the upper torso short, shoulder area. And then she shot, you know, um, Donald twice. Is it a dream? No, I don't think it's a dream. I feel like it's one of those situations where um, we've seen Lily destabilizing ever since she was tortured. Now, I it, it's completely reasonable. I mean, she's been drinking a lot and... You know, we've been hearing about her rash behavior and everything. Well, we've been seeing her rash behavior and her just becoming unraveled more and more every episode. But I feel like the key reason it wasn't a dream was because I believe that's when uh, Max told Bobby about how the vice president wants him and Bobby to rush down to help out Sam. And as a result, you know, Lily stuck her head out of the door. Well, actually, if I'm not mistaken, Lily, uh, Max was on the phone with the vice president in a vehicle i think he was in his that box truck or car or whatever well basically bobby gets to bobby gets to call he gets dressed and then lily pokes her head out of the door as bobby leaves and i'm like yeah that was probably like okay since he's gone now i'm going to sneak out and do my thing and look lily looked fine as hell i'm not saying she's never unattractive but i feel like because i had become well we in general have become so accustomed to seeing her in those uh fuzzy slippers and bathrobe and wet hair for like well over a month in our time in the show uh to see her dressed up again was just like wow okay mm. but too bad she's gonna have blood stains on that outfit now no i don't think she was dreaming i feel like uh it wouldn't work i mean don't get me wrong tyler perry has done the dream thing as a cliffhanger before look at what they did in sister season three with gary coming out of the bathroom of the hotel and it turned out it was a dream but i didn't care about that because the real cliffhanger was um fatima having hayden beaten up but yeah i feel like lily did this by her damn self keep in mind lily has not not been the most rational character for a bulk of the series not to say i don't understand her plight well i can't say i've been in her position but imagine everything you thought you knew to be fake a facade in your life is literally just falling apart by the rickety foundation where your life is in the hands of people who could snuff you out without a second thought. Yeah, that's a lot to take in. But Lily has been reckless time and time and time and time again. So for her to not be intelligent enough to realize, wait, why isn't there any secret service or security outside of the house? And I'm able to just get on in here without a problem and, you know, this and that. No, um... I think it's real. I don't think it's a dream. And that's really all I got to say about it. So I'm very curious to see what's going to happen to Lily. I mean, she's literally on her own right now because, well, Bobby and Max are preoccupied elsewhere. Well, especially, specifically Bobby, given that he's still in the, um, the uh, bunker with Kyle. So I don't know. It would be interesting if, you know, well, we know Kyle has no way to communicate with Donald because at this point, Donald seems like he couldn't even care less if uh, Kyle dies, but I don't know. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit subscribe and hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel.